and we're back. back. And where are we, Wally? At the airport on the awaiting for our airplane. We are. We were supposed to fly out yesterday. Our flight got canceled. But we are here today. Early in the morning. Early in the morning. We were hoping to have a nighttime flight. A little bit easier with Wally, but we'll take what we can get. Just yep. get us to Orlando. I <laughs> We're on the plane. We're taxiing out. We might actually take off on time. It's 8.03. Yeah. Off to Neverland we go. Yeah. luggage cart because we had a lot of bags and we are doing a rental car this trip so we did the Emerald Isle in National we actually got an awesome car we got a GMC terrain so that's gonna be great for all of our luggage I was a little stressed about how much we were bringing and whether it was gonna fit but I think this is gonna work out super well we still have to get a couple more bags in there and the stroller but thankfully we have a nice big car all right, it's all in the car. Let's go have some Florida adventures. All right, well, it is 3.20 and we're hungry. It's one o'clock back home. We didn't really get lunch because of the time of our flight. We kind of sort of ate breakfast. We did get McDonald's and Wally and I had that on the plane. Um, and Mark had like some breakfast bar cookies. So we're very hungry. We've heard really good things about bar taco. So I follow a lot of like gluten-free in Orlando food groups and they say really good things about Bar Taco. So we're gonna go check out Bar Taco, get some groceries, and then head over to our hotel. All right, so here is Bar Taco and it's a chain. I actually think we have one in Denver. So if we really like it, we'll have to go back home. But it's about 15 minutes from the airport over here on Dr. Phillips. Let's go see if it's as good as everybody says. devoured the chips and salsa. They were like big giant tortillas. Yeah. They're super good and super salty and yummy. And their salsa is nice and spicy. And I got the lobster taco off their secret menu. Mark got two chicken verde um, and lettuce wraps. So super awesome. 
the way you order is all through the app and you can put in like it tells you all the allergens and then you could even like modify anything you needed to. Yeah. Feels super simple, delicious. We're just waiting for Wally's quesadilla. Yeah, you have a Shirley Temple, don't you? Mm -hmm. And then they brought out like a whole coloring book for him and these super cool like square crayons. Crayon goals. Super fun. And Wally's like addicted to his etch a sketch from the airplane. So he had to bring that in. And he's been building an obstacle course for his Hot Wheel cars. <laughs> all right, next stop, Publix. There's actually a Publix right over here. So we're gonna pick up all of our groceries, which is great. And might have to get a little bit of wine too. All right, well, we made it to our room, room number one of five on this trip. Yeah. So we just grabbed a room at the Courtyard Marriott. This is the one that's on iDrive by the Convention Center. So we're like super, super close to the Orlando Eye, the big Ferris wheel um, in Icon Park. So um, it's a really convenient location. Like it was seven minutes away from where we ate lunch and got groceries and there's a Whole Foods and there's a Trader Joe's and there's a Publix. So very conveniently located for all the things, but it's just a very simple room. I'll give you a real quick room tour and then we're gonna head to the Magic Kingdom. So very simple little bathroom. It does have a tub shower, which is nice. Um, we picked up some foaming hand soap because that is one of my biggest things when I travel. I hate using communal bar soap. So that was one of the big things that we got when we were at Publix, which is awesome. It's got a nice little closet here for storage, a link mirror, and then just a pretty basic room, but we do have a nice king bed and then it does have this super nice like sofa over here. So Wally kind of has a chill zone. And as you can see, we've already made ourselves at home with all the groceries and all the things. Check out this wonderful It's got a teeny tiny little micro fridge and that I have. Kudos. Super, super packed. Look at how good job she did packing, guys. Like, we've got a picnic lunch in there for tomorrow because we're going to go down to Cape Canaveral. So a lot of that will be out of the fridge tomorrow, but it is super I'm impressed. Packed. Super bad. Like, <laughs> we made the most out of the space. So we're just here yes. for two nights before we change over to Animal Kingdom Lodge. Or just but though. I think this will be really nice. It's very nice, tons of outlets, very cozy, nice, clean, modern look. So, all right, there it is. Look at Wally. We're here. Heading into the bowl. That is Walt huge. Disney World. We haven't even seen the new arches yet. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Ah, so exciting! Oh, it's so pretty. We get to go play in the Magic Kingdom! Oh, I do you model wheel cap! And we're back. The Magic Kingdom. And Wally's already remembered the train is closed. Yeah, he's having a moment. Yeah. We got to go activate our annual, our passes. annual passes. Here we go. All right, well, we're official. Annual passes got are our activated. Annual passes back. They're activated. Heading in. Let's go. Have you been, buddy? You're in, buddy!
finally. Feels good to be home. Yes. All right, well, we made it into the park with just enough time to do one ride before our dinner reservation. And you know what ride that has to be? What is it? What ride does it have to be, Wally? What ride are we going? Big Thunder Mountain. So we're making it all the way to the other side of the park. Unfortunately, Wally's favorite ride has to be the one that is furthest from the entrance. But we are hustling over. We're gonna get in some Big Thunder fun before we go to dinner. And Daddy thought tonight would be a good test of not bringing the stroller. So that means we are carrying a very heavy, almost five-year-old. So I think it was a good idea that we brought the stroller on this trip. He's a big boy, but he's still kind of a little boy. All right, well, 40 minute wait, and our reservation for dinner is in 45 minutes, so I think we're just gonna make it. I had to take my hat off because this is the wildest ride right in the wilderness. <laughs> Okay, here we are at Skipper Canteen. Still too far away from the restaurant. Still too far. Good. <laughs> and 
money would you order? Um, they welcomed us with some Brazilian cheese bread, and what? I'm so excited about it. Look at that excitement. I have been dreaming about this. Yes. Yeah. So excited. Mm. Yum. That's really good. I don't know what the sauce is. Come here. All right, we asked about the sauce, and it is a poblano cream sauce and chimichurri, and it is amazing. It's so good. Mm. I'm jealous. Oh, Ollie. What did you get? A whole steak? Mm -hmm. And a lava, a lava cake. cake. Oh I my goodness. Down I know, look at that. That is so cool. And then you know what the mm, <laughs> Daddy. You got the, the pad thai with steak? Yeah. And they like super special made it for you. Like he even came to the table and like this showed you the sauce. sauce. Yeah. Let's make it with like this. Awesome. And my favorite thing of all, it tastes like chicken because it is so good. Yeah. I want to show you guys this up close. It is amazingly done. And as I was saying before, he came out with a sauce that he likes. And they made me a special sauce that doesn't have corn in it. I am hugely impressed, and it is amazingly good, amazingly spicy. All right, well, dinner was excellent, as always. Skipper Canteen is definitely, I think it's our favorite spot to eat in all of Magic Kingdom. Yeah. And now the park is closed. So we get to have a nice leisurely walk out and then ride back over to the TTC. But first we have to say goodbye to Cinderella Castle because it's all lit up for nighttime and it's been so long since we've been able to see it. Well, you can't beat that as the last view for the day. So beautiful. And with all of its new embellishments for the 50th, it's extra beautiful. So glad we were able to come spend just a little bit of time in the Magic Kingdom on our first day here. close it out here because this was a pretty amazing perfect first day first day travel day yeah everything went super smooth so we're looking and forward to like a whole two weeks a still <laughs> of vacation and we've already done so much on day one so yeah. thank you guys for coming along on these adventures and stay tuned for lots more magic lots more fun right here in Disney World. Make sure if you're new here, hit that subscribe button with the bell icon because we're gonna be doing some pop-up lives. We will be. So the and only way you know about those. We're doing some like crazy uh, new stuff. Space stuff tomorrow. So we're super excited about that. So stay tuned. This is the wonderful world of Walter. And we love you just the way you are. Bye. Bye.